Well, it's Monday and a brand new month. Happy new day, happy new month to you. Today, December 1st, 2K14. This is Wayne Goldsboro Television. I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kim Best. Good Monday morning. Glad to have you back. Hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving holiday. Here we are starting December the 1st, now preparing for the Christmas season. I know. And you know what? The weather, two weeks ago, the weather started getting really wacky on us. Yes, it did. And it got so cold yes. and freezing and down into the teens and all that. But this past weekend was fantastic. Mm -hmm. It was great. And I mm -hmm. hope you all went out and just had a fantastic time at the Christmas parades and everything that was going on around the area and that you're in the Christmas spirit. That's right. And our Ooh. Christmas parade is coming up Saturday, December the 6th, this coming oh, that's Saturday. Right. That's this Saturday. That's ours. Now, okay. Raleigh has had theirs and that's other right. areas have had that's right. their Christmas parade. But ours is this Saturday, ours 4 o'clock. That's right. And That's Mount right. Olive has theirs at 10 a.m. They do, don't they? Same day. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Same day. So we've got a bunch of them coming up. We this certainly time. do. All right. I'll catch up uh, here in, in, okay. in a little while, okay? okay? Take your time. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Day after tomorrow. Yes. It's a Wednesday. Uh, the, yes, it is a Wednesday or a Wednesday, as some people would say. Wednesday. Yes. Larry King says that. Okay. Anyway, Peggy, the Peggy M. Seeger Senior Center Holiday Open House is this Wednesday, December 3rd, from 2 until 5 p.m. That's p.m., not a.m. 2 until 5 p.m., they're offering refreshments, entertainment, door prizes, etc., 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 yada, yada, yada. Come see the beautiful center and enjoy some holiday cheer with the Senior Center folks. Public is all invited. Mm -hmm. The public is invited to attend. And if you have not been or seen our Senior Center, and of oh, course, it's so nice. if you're not 60, it's hard to get in and see anything at all. But this is open to the public. It is very nice. You're absolutely it right. Yes, absolutely. Anyway, that's coming up this Wednesday. Well, okay. tonight we'd like to invite you to come out to the city council. It's our one of our meetings this month. It starts at five o'clock. Is our work session, and that's in City Hall Annex on the second floor in the large conference room. And then at seven o'clock is our regular meeting in Historic City Hall, of course, in Council Chambers. Inviting you all to come. But if you're not able to attend. These uh, council meetings are filmed and will be running on here, right here on Channel 10, on WGTV, and mm -hmm. it will also be on the YouTube channel. You can mm -hmm. go to goldsboronc.gov, which mm -hmm. is our website, click on YouTube, it will take you straight to the city council meeting. And you know, I'm sure glad you brought that up because tomorrow morning I need to tell you about our, our uh, county commissioners, board That's of commissioners right. meeting tomorrow morning with a briefing that begins at 8 o'clock and everybody's always invited to attend that, the briefing, and then the meeting itself will begin at 9 a.m in commission chambers uh, on the fourth floor of the Wayne County Courthouse. Everybody's invited to attend that as That's well. That's right, so Monday night and then Tuesday morning. And then Tuesday morning, and then uh, as, as Kim said, if you can't be at the meeting, then uh, stay tuned to Channel 10 or Channel 99, and you'll be able to see it at some point this week. That's right. Uh, uh, let me mention also that we are indeed on, on Time Warner Cable Channel 10, uh, digital 97.6, whatever that means. <laughs> We're also on AT&T Uverse. That's right. All right, so if you know someone who has Uverse and they're wondering why they can't pick us up, tell them to go to Channel 99, and then you'll be asked to scroll down to Wayne County. Right? You scroll down on Channel 99, there we are, right there. And a lot of people have Uverse here in Wayne County. Yes. All right. Becoming more and more predominant. Yes, indeedy. All right. Well, Friday, December the 5th, this Friday. This Friday. From 6 to 9 at the Cliffs of the New State Park. They're mm -hmm. having their annual flotilla and Christmas tree lighting. Oh, boy. And Santa will be there. That's all from 6 to 9 this Friday, Cliffs of the New State Park. That guy gets around, doesn't he? He certainly he does. He certainly does. All right. <laughs> Okay, let's see what else we have here. December 6th. That's right, this Saturday. This Saturday, with all those uh, parades going mm -hmm. on, the Senior Center will also be holding an event from 9 till noon. For $10, you can rent a table and sell your arts or crafts or baked goods nice. or collectibles. That's at the Senior Center on East Ash Street, 2101 East Ash. Space is limited. Get your registrations in as quickly as possible. Call Sandra or Celeste at 919-731-1591 and they're going to have a Christmas Bazaar fundraiser at the Senior Center this Saturday and for only ten dollars you can rent a table. Well that is a busy day Wayne I'm because that you, same morning you can yeah. start your day at seven o'clock by helping out the Boys and Girls Club of Wayne County at wow. their annual Pancake Day. Pancake! Oh I pancake love Pancake day. day! It's from seven in the morning until twelve noon 
this Saturday, the Boys and Girls Club will have their annual fundraiser, which is their pancake day. Mm -hmm. And of course, that's on Royal Avenue at the Boys and Girls Club building. That's They'd right. love to have you come out and eat some pancakes and then go to the Menard Christmas Parade. Yeah. Then go to the Bazaar. Yeah. At the Senior Center. At Senior Center. And then go to the Christmas Parade here in Goldsboro, here in downtown Goldsboro. And there's another at one, o'clock. I think Fremont, I think. Uh, Fremont has one, I think, at 2 o'clock. It usually is at 2, and then Goldsboro is at 4. So you could just make a whole day out of it. Whole day. Make Pancakes whole day. and parades. Oh, pan the bazaars. Yeah. <laughs> Pancakes and parades. Okay. <laughs> That's right. right. Let's do this. <laughs> we'll go to our interviewer, and we'll be right back. That's right. Hi, I'd like to welcome all of you today to Still Memorial. We are so excited that you're here today for a presentation about the library and all the services that we offer to our community. And we're especially delighted that Geraldine Lee, our branch manager here at Still Memorial, is here in attendance today. I have some of our staff which you'll meet when you come around to their tables. This is going to be an interactive presentation and we'll get up now and you can just join me across the room here and we'll hear from some of our library staff about library services. So um, here we have Chris Estes, and Chris is um, a reference librarian who also works in the technical services department here at Still Memorial Library. Um, we believe in uh, cross-training here at the library. Chris started out in the circulation department at the Goldsboro Library, and we're very happy to report that he'll be graduating with his master's in library science in December, and we're very um, excited and proud of Chris for that. Going to my master's degree program, it's called Learning Express. It's, this is what Learning Express looks like, if you guys want to get a good look at it. You can pass it around if you want to take a look at what's on there. But basically what it offers is um, study guides. Yes, you can get to it from the, from the library. If you click on um, library databases or NC Live and other databases, it'll take you to a list of all of our databases, which are organized by subject, and uh, Learning Express is on there. Um, they offer different study uh, study guides um, for graduate programs. They have the GRE, the LSAT, the MCAT. Um, they've got GED study prep, um, becoming an American citizen uh, study prep. Um, they have uh, guides for um, job acceleration, how to create a resume, writing a cover letter. Um, and they also have um, SAT, SAT prep. Yeah, so they've got all sorts of um, things in here. They've got um, resources in uh, Spanish as well. And um, so I really could have used this because when I studied for my GRE, I was using a 2011 study guide. And, uh, you know, those can change every year. So and this has up-to-date study guides. So that's what we have, uh, what I'm going to talk about today for the, um, some of the technology that we have. We will, yeah. If, you, if any of you want to start downloading, come by and talk to us, and we'll be more than happy to walk you through downloading. Even the, now the, the older formats, like the Kindle Paperwhite, which don't have this LC, uh, LED back screens, um, they aren't Android-based, so it's a little bit different. You have to download the book to a computer and then upload it onto the reader. So, I mean, if any of you have that, we can walk you through that as well. So, and uh, there's also some brochures here if you guys want to take some. That's about um, downloading the ebooks. So, if any of you are interested in doing that, you can take one of those. And this, this is about some of our databases that we offer. Good afternoon. I'm Melanie Powell. I work here at Steel Memorial Library. I've been with the library for six years now. And Ms. Phillips was right. I work in every department. I'm the question and answer person for everything lately. So, um, I'm supposed to talk to you all about lifelong learning and reading. And one of the most rewarding things about this job are the connections you make with the people in the community. We see a lot of the children from the time they're babies to college, and we've been with them every summer for summer reading program. But we start our programs at the preschool age. Here in Mount Olive, we have a toddler story time that has been very popular with the grandmas and grandpas and babies and moms and babies and dads and babies. We have a variety that comes. And at all the branches we offer preschool story time. We have a lot of school age programs going on now. Um, 
in Goldsboro. They've started a guys read program for elementary age boys who, at, you know, at that age, they start to not enjoy reading anymore. So our, one of our reference librarians up there has got his group up to 10 boys and they meet twice a month and do a lot of activities that will help them in the classroom too and promote leadership and we also, here in Mount Olive, recently we had our Halloween um, costume parade and fun at the library story time, and we had 91 attend. So we're really proud of that number. Um, and we also offer a lot for teens. Lisa at Pikeville, she has had a teen advisory group. They also have a teen advisory group in Goldsboro that meets, and they make suggestions to our youth services librarian and to Lisa about what they would like in the library. Um, Lisa had a group that helped work with seniors on computer tutoring. So it was young and old working together, trying to learn some computer basics like email and stuff. Um, and here in Bound Olive, we're finally able to have a lot of adult programs that we weren't able to have before. And those, I've got a few out that are coming up, a senior scams one, and we have photography coming up in January. We're also going to do a genealogy one where um, our local history librarian is going to come and show patrons how to use the website, the library edition of Ancestry.com. So um, we also <clears throat> have craft programs going on. We had the local history farming programs here that were very successful. Our last one here had over 30 in attendance, and I know the Goldsboro ones were very successful too, and they had one in Pikeville or Fremont, I can't remember. But um, we've had a lot of people comment on that. They really enjoyed it. And the, we did a baseball one last year, Marty did, and that was very interesting. I even learned a lot that I didn't know. I've lived here over 20 some years and I did not know that the field at Mount Olive College, who it was named after, found out a little history about Joe Scarborough. So um, we also have started here in Mount Olive a lot of computer basics class that we could not have before because of our location. They've been doing them at Goldsboro all along. Natasha is responsible for most of that and she passes the information down to us. But we had a program the other night and we had six people come to learn computer basics and the impact that will have, I think, on our area, it, a lot of people now, when they come in here and they ask for help for jobs, all the basic jobs that people apply for, everything is online. There are no paper applications anymore, even down to McDonald's, Walmart, the Murphy filling station. I've helped people with some of that, and some of those are a little hard to get through. <laughs> I had to get out a thesaurus for one of those because it was asking us words and different. And I don't know if it's just a test, but there are a lot of people that don't have email addresses. They have to have an email address to apply for a job. So we're really pushing that and in January, one of our library assistants who is, um, she speaks fluent Spanish, she's going to be teaching a few Spanish basics too on the computer to help and it really helps in our area because we don't have an employment security commission office anymore so the library is pretty much it. The computer's here for people to use to apply for jobs and learn how to do resumes and which I don't want to talk about that too much because that's what Natasha is going to talk to you about. But we do encourage that, and they're doing it at the Goldsboro Library, too. So that's, I think that will really have the biggest impact on our area because so many people are here every day looking for jobs. And we've all taken turns sitting with people for over an hour sometimes trying to get an application in for them for just some of these jobs that you think would be so easy to walk in and fill out, but they don't, and they don't give help at places either. Subway is one of the worst, because <laughs> I've had three or four people come Subway, send them to the library, so, it, but it is very rewarding to help people and see, we get to see the end result, because they always come back and tell us, oh, I got that job, you know, I got, I got hired, or so, so we are seeing a lot of positive stuff, and we really, uh, Speaking on behalf of Mount Olive, we really appreciate this building. It has been wonderful. Um, I was at the old building for five years, so I know what we had, and the staff loves it. The community loves it. I get stopped all the time um, in Walmart or Food Line or the grocery store. I'm always at, you know, that, and that's 
what I said. It's so rewarding to work here and help people. And even in Walmart, I get asked by our patrons to help them with the self-checkout at Walmart because they know I know how to do the one here. So <laughs> my daughter was like, Mom, I was like, go help those people. So it, it's just, it's been a great few months here. We're really, really thrilled. Hi, so my name's Natasha, and I'm going to be talking to you about some specific initiatives that we have at the library. Pretty much our goal is just to reach out and meet any need that anybody in the community has. And when we get repetitive questions or different groups coming in and asking for specific programs, we try to set up regular programs for them to actually come in and get what they need. And so we've decided on several initiatives. We have a job and career initiative, a business initiative, and also a medical initiative to get people the medical information that they need. So, so let's say you were looking for a job. As Ms. Melanie said, we get a lot of questions. We get on average, I want to say, five questions a day from people asking about, can you help me um, build a resume? from high school students to maybe somebody who's been at a job for 30 years and they're switching and they decide they want to have a completely different career. So they come in and they want to touch up their resume, they want to fix their cover letter. In some cases we have people who have never used a computer before ever and they come in and they want to apply to a job and they say, how do you do this? How do you click here? Where do I go? And we have to help them with that. So we have put in place several different regular schedule programs, as Ms. Melody also spoke about. We have the computer classes for those who don't know how to use a computer, and we offer those regularly. As Ms. Donna spoke on, we have one-on-one -on -one sessions where you can meet with the librarian and get the same kind of personal information that you would get in the same classes, or for um, if you need a resume and you're kind of a little bit slower and you don't want to sit in the class format, we do one-on-one -on -one resume help as well. We also have a job newsletter that we provide weekly and pretty much is from the NC Work Center. We just compile a list of some and they can come and just check it out. And then we also have a little handouts that can help with resume building as well. We have a database that Chris talked about, Optimal Resume, which has different resume assistance. Not only can you build your resume, but you can build portfolios. It's got interviewing, tips, and all types of other good helpful information for those who are job seeking. Here's some of the other handouts that we have for those who are job seeking. Employment websites. I'm just going to so not only do we have the physical, the handouts we give you and the physical collection, but we also have the online resources through NC Live which gives you different um, job and career resources as well. I'm just going to go ahead and hand them all out so you guys can have this while we're talking. So I can just stop interrupting. <laughs> okay. Every first Friday, we have a session called NC Wayne to Work where we invite people to come in and they get three hours of uninterrupted computer use time where they can build their resume, they can apply for jobs, and then we also have a reference staff member in the room who can go through and assist them as needed. We tend to go out and we do job fairs. We just had the Housing Authority job fair not too long ago where we went and we sent the reference staff out to help people build resumes. Um, we just had a, we partnered actually with the NC Work Center to put on a veteran and community job fair just last week. And we had about 94 people come in looking for jobs, 22 of which was actually veterans. So we go out into community and try to reach out. Any job fair that we hear about, we try to go and show them our resources or assist them in any way we need to. So those are just some of the job and career stuff. For our business initiative, we have a three-part initiative. The first part is we partner with Charles Gaylor at the Small Business Center, and we offer different seminars, and I gave you the little handout which shows some of the seminars that we've, yes, it's actually the flip out. It says this is top one right here, the fall seminar. So we partner with him and we bring everything from fueling your business to how to get your credit score up and all different types of programming from starting a program to if you've already have a program and you just want to have it function better. And he works with us on that. We do one program a month in Goldsboro and then we alternate between one program here in Steele and one in the Fremont Library. 
We also offer programs for those who are, want to use our library resources and you may not be familiar with it. We'll be offering regularly scheduled um, classes for that as well where we'll show you how to go in and do a marketing report or how to do some research if you need to for your business programming in that sense. And then the last part of our business initiative is to actually get out in the community and to go and visit businesses and see what they need and what we can better do to serve their needs. And so we give them the little handout. It's a little small bookmark type. So yes, that just gives a list of our different services that we offer and just invite them to let us know how we can better assist them for their various needs. And then lastly, we have the medical initiative, which is pretty much we set up regularly scheduled programs where we can have people come in and learn about different medical issues. Like if you're learning about diabetes or um, high blood pressure, just to keep them aware of the different situations and keep them up to date on some current events that are going on in that area. Okay. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, my name is Lisa Stevens. As Donna mentioned, I'm the branch manager at Pipeville in Fremont. Um, I'm going to segue on to just about everything everybody said. I might repeat a few things that they said. Um, I've actually been with this library for 15 years. It's been an honor to work for Wayne County Public Library for 15 years. And I have worked at every branch here in Wayne County. I started here at Mount Olive actually 15 years ago, working across the street from the library where I lived, and um, moved to Goldsboro, and then had the honor to be uh, made the branch manager of Pipeville in Fremont. Uh, what I'm going to discuss with you today, and you all have to forgive me because I'm going to go by notes. When I started researching, even after 15 years, I didn't realize how many services and agencies that we partner with. And uh, what I've got here is a little group of what I call trading cards. These are collectibles. You can take one with you. They're going to be worth something someday because it's a limited edition. <laughs> so help yourself take it with you. But on the um, cards, we have the partnerships that we've made. Uh, for instance, we have a quilting program coming up. This quilting program is going to advertise for the program that the arts Council is coming up with in uh, this coming first part of the year for their quilt show. Um, the agencies that we part with, we'll start with Com Wayne Community College, and as Natasha mentioned, uh, she's been working with Charles Gaylor Jr. with the Small Business Center, and, and you've got the information there, so I'm not going to beat a dead horse here, but we're going to also go on with how they also do uh, Wayne Community College at Pikeville and Fremont as an ESL class. Uh, we have a wonderful instructor that comes from Wayne Community College, uh, Mabel Limpua comes and she does an ESL class on Mondays and Wednesdays uh, throughout the whole school year for ESL, which is wonderful. She's got a great turnout. We also have GED classes that take place here at Mount Olive. An instructor comes here to give GED classes. Um, and I believe Natasha is also working with Dr. Andrews of the Irwin Library. Library um, at Wayne Community College to cross promote our resources and services that we have available. Uh, we also work greatly with the NC Co op Extension. Um, they, I've got some really fun pictures here. If anybody knows a corn grinder, I'm sure y'all are too young to know what a corn grinder is, or a corn shuck mop, which was something I learned. I never saw one of these before. That was really interesting. Anyway, Marty Cheddar, uh, who is our local history librarian, has worked closely with uh, the Extension Agency, and he's got a wonderful program that is actually recording the history of agriculture in Wayne County. He also works with the uh, Wayne County Museum. Well, we partner with them and he's got some great exhibits um, that he's collected from local area farmers. Um, I was honored to do a transcript of Bill Lamb. I'm not familiar if y'all know who Bill Lamb is or not. Um, I did a transcript of his interview he did with Marty. He was really interesting. It was a fascinating story he had of his life. Um, but that's uh, something that Marty's putting together and it's really uh, fascinating. Um, we had Jessica Strickland come. She, I don't know if anybody has seen the library, of course, at um, the garden at the library. It's a beautiful garden, especially in the summertime. But she also came to Pikeville and Fremont and we started community gardens at Pikeville and Fremont for our story uh, summer reading program. Uh, last year, the children planted pumpkins, and by Halloween, they all took home a pumpkin. And uh, this year, we did tomatoes and basil, and we did a farm-to-table program for our summer reading program. Um, and it was thanks to Jessica Strickland who came out and helped us and talked to the children about planting gardens and how important it was. Um, we just wanted the kids to know that pizza doesn't always come from the frozen food section. So um, they really enjoyed that program because we all had pizza at the end of the program. Um, and this, by the way, is our summer reading program. I want you to look at this. <laughs> That's just one program. That's how many children I had show up at one program. Yeah, I had 130 people 
at one program at summer reading. Um, and our, our summer reading program in uh, Fremont and Pikeville, for the total attendance for six weeks, we had 759 participants. Um, and for the northern part of the county, those two little libraries, I'm, I'm very proud of that number. So, um, and it was thanks to partnering with Jessica Strickland and getting our garden going there too as well. Um, we also partner with the Services on Aging. They have started a library through our resources for the Senior Center and we also do an intergenerational story time. And Goldsboro Housing Authority is another agency that we partner with. Uh, we've been working with Casey Baker and we are going to be in attendance at the 2015 Point in Time Count event that's going to take place at the Soup Kitchen and uh, we're going to uh, provide the res show them what the resources that the library can provide for them. Also, as Natasha mentioned, the job fair that was also in uh, partnership with Goldsboro Housing Authority. Um, they helped do resumes there as well. Um, and the Chamber of Commerce, Natasha has gone at Goldsboro Chamber of Commerce and showed them how to use our new ProQuest database. If y'all haven't seen our databases, these things are awesome. Um, they all talked about optimal resume, but hands-on experience. We do book of librarians as well at Pikeville and Fremont, and everybody we've shown this um, this feature to has loved it, mostly because you don't have to download it to a flash drive. You can go to any computer and pull up your resume and send it in at any time. It is great. And we have helped just in the last three months. We've had three people get jobs that come into Pikeville and Fremont. We sit with them. We do the book a librarian, um, help them. Like Melanie said, these are some very tough applications online. We help them get through the applications and get their resumes done. Um, and three people have come back in the last three months and told us they've got jobs, which really makes us very happy. Um, one of my favorite and close to my heart partnerships is with the Wayne County Public Schools. Um, I do six story times at Pikeville and Fremont. We serve up to 100 and 120 children a week. Um, I visit Fremont Stars. I do an outreach program to um, the more at four class and Ms. Bass has a special needs class that I visit. Um, and Laura Rachel Barwick, who is our children's supervisor at the main branch, um, she has visited just about every single school in Wayne County and let them know what resources that we can provide. Um, she's also gone to the Wayne Preparatory School. I believe that's a new school. They don't have a library yet, so she's actually carrying books over from our library to them for their children. And she also does story times for them as well. Uh, Wayne Engineering, we also... Um, went and visited their ninth grade. She goes on a weekly basis there uh, because their school also doesn't have a library and she provides resources for them. Um, also with the teachers, she helps them with their curriculums and mater materials that they need. We all know how times are tough for teachers as well. Um, we share resources with them also. Um, and like I say, any of these, uh, the Rotary Club, we did the Belk Lecture, um, and oh, this was the Wayne Development Child Skill Creations of Goldsboro we partner with. So um, that's the one thing, fun thing about these cards. If you look and see, you can see who we partner with and how we partnered. That's their visit to the library. Um, they came in and got cards and checked out materials. So, and the Boys and Girls Club, uh, this was their visit to the Fremont Library. They came and did a, uh, we did a story time with them, and they came for us on a reading program, which was really fun. And uh, we did two booths this year at the Wayne Agricultural Fair. Uh, the children's group did this one, and of course Marty did his for Agricultural Center. Um, and as Natasha mentioned, the NC Works Center, we do optimal resume. Town of Mount Olive, need I say, we're standing in the building right here, right now. Thank you very much. Um, and the services on aging, this is the group at their um, intergener intergenerational story time. So a um, lot to share, a lot of partnerships that um, I think we're all, it, it's a mutual benefit for uh, the library and the community. So thank you all for coming. I'm going to turn this over to Donna and thank you for your patience. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, we are back on Wayne Goldsboro Television. Thank you for being with us. A quick reminder that uh, at the Senior Center mm -hmm. this Friday, the 5th of December, mm -hmm. this Friday, uh, Brenda McNair is hoping to start a widow's support group at the Senior Center. If you're interested in joining, uh, attend the startup meeting. That is this Friday, the 5th at 5 p.m. It's only going to be for an hour. And Brenda McNair at the Senior Center hoping to start up a widow's support group. If you want more information, you can call Sandra Spasojevic at 919-731-1591. I think I just hurt myself. 
Did you? Yeah. That's not good. Anyway, call 731-1591, ask for Sandra, and find out more about the Widows Support Group at the Senior Center. Very good. It's the soldier pick. Let's see. Oh, that's already happened. Oh, it's already yeah, happened. Yeah, that's already happened. Never mind. <laughs> Reminding you, this Friday night is the Nutcracker Ballet at the Paramount Theater. That will be from 7 to 9 p.m., and that is put on by Goldsboro Ballet, their 33rd annual year, putting on that production. Unreal. I Just think they know what they're doing. The, look. <laughs> they, they have they, beautiful costumes. They have is. great dancers. And there are local people right here in our community that have been dancing for years. But don't let that fool you. These are very talented actors. Oh, absolutely. Actors. These are thespians. They are so, yes, they are. But they are, it's a fantastic program. If you mm -hmm. haven't seen it, been to it, you will really be impressed. They are so talented. Yes, they are. They really are. Okay. This is going to be a busy weekend. I am telling you, there's My goodness. something to do every single minute. It is. It is. Let's see what and else. we're still is. checking. <laughs> still looking. Well, don't forget every Tuesday night. We have free uh, trolley rides oh, yeah. all around downtown, yeah. and they're actually meeting. The meetup place has changed this year, you know, because of the construction, oh, yeah. and it's at the, the the old gas station. What is that called? Oh, Over the, old, the, the was that Pure the or Phillips sixty six? Pure, I believe Pure, it's I believe on the it corner yeah. of Mulberry, Mulberry and, and John. John. Good, Woo we did that right. Yeah, right across from the Jeffries building there on the corner downtown mm -hmm. near Toreros, right. near the Shamrock. Six to eight every yeah. Tuesday night until the twenty third of December. There you go. Can't beat that. And you That's know a what? nice little outing, and it's free. We rode that one year, yes, we and did. it was an absolute It was blast. fun, wasn't it? It was a lot of fun. A we lot had of a fun. great time. Okay, coming up Wednesday evening. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, Wednesday morning. Carolyn Robertson is an RN. She's a registered nurse, and she'll be talking about depression. And she'll be talking about depression. This takes place at the Senior Center. Question and answer period will follow the program. It's absolutely free and open to anybody who wants to go. This time of year especially, Yes. some people have a problem with this time of year yes. and that results in depression for whatever reason. But that starts at 1030 this Wednesday morning at the Senior Center and everyone's invited to attend. If you want to know more, call Aaron at 919-705-1785-705-1785. Next Thursday, the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce is inviting you to attend their annual holiday mixer. Oh boy. From 5.30 until 7. They'll have live music, food, holiday punch. It is just a great time to get to know and spend the holidays for a few moments together with people in your community. They, the Chamber does a great job. They put yes, this they on do. every year. It is a packed house. Great, great food. And it really is just helping you put you in the holiday spirit. And that's Thursday, December the 11th, next week. And that's a lot right of fun. Right after work, 5.30 to 7.30. Right. That is a lot of fun. And that address is what? 308 um, North Williams Street. Was, that's what I was going to say. Was it? Uh, and it is sponsored by uh, Wooten Development Company. Yeah, that's, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What movie else? night. Yes. Yeah, December movie lineup at the Senior Center. What kind of movies do we have? Well, on December 5th, that's this Saturday mm -hmm. at 2 p.m., Santa Claus 1. That's Santa Claus with Tim Allen oh, as yeah, Santa's funny. helper delivering the presents. And then on December 12th, the following Friday, that will be Santa Claus 2. Tim Allen find, must find a bride by Christmas Eve in this comedy about Christmas. So you got a Tim Allen movie on the 5th and the 12th. And then on the 19th, Ghost of Girlfriends Past, a romantic comedy oh, yeah. loosely based on a Christmas carol starring Matthew McConaughey and it Jennifer is Garner. Cute. Cute it is movie. very cute. Yeah. It is. All right, let's I do believe this. that's all for today. That's it. Let's do this again tomorrow. We'll be right here, and I hope you're right there because we're right here and you're right there. Until then, this is Wayne Goldsboro Television. I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kim Best, <laughs> and this is what's happening in your community.